Over the years, I've been collecting up quite a few pairs of sneakers, boots, footwear in general. And today I want to show you guys 15 of the pairs that are getting the most use or have some sort of kind of personal meaning to me. So when I look for a new pair of shoes, the design has to be timeless, uh, well-made and of course uh, comfortable to wear. So before getting into it, click that like button, subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out a lot. So this collection will be shown in no particular order, it's just 15 pairs of shoes that I really like. So starting off with the oldest pair in this collection, these are the Visvem Yucca Mok Folk. It's just a buttery suede uh, moccasin style. These are just so comfy on feet and I've worn these a ton over the years and I will continue wearing these loads for the years to come. It's kind of the style that some years get loads of use, then I store them away and I keep taking them back into my rotation. Yeah, Visum does amazing footwear, just a pair that can be worn a bit more dressed up as well as just... Uh, on a daily basis as well during the summertime. So as most of you guys know, I've been wearing uh, Common Projects for I would say at least 10, 11 years now. And although I don't wear them as much now as I used to, it's just hard to beat such a good pair of white sneakers as these. Maybe in some time I'll get really tired of them, but as of now, these are still in my rotation. I love them, I love the design of them and uh, these are the B-Balls Low. Then of course we got the classic Achilles by Common Projects as well. There's really nothing too much to say about these. It's just a really classic, clean looking white sneakers. They're well made and yeah. So I guess uh, this is the white sneakers roundup. So these are actually a pair of Oliver Cabell, uh, which I did a collaboration with them, so these are my design. Uh, we did a limited run of these, I think they only made like 50 pairs. I really haven't shown these too much because they sold out immediately, so there wasn't really any need for a push for these. So what we did with this, we just did a um, beautiful kind of um, pebbled grain leather and we did this amazing deer skin lining so they're probably the most soft sneakers i've ever worn so the lining isn't usually a priority when designing a sneaker so that's one of the things i wanted with these that the lining should be just as good as the uh, outside leather we use this kind of um, more rugged margum outsole and yeah it's just a clean white sneakers from Oliver Cabell. And I would say these have kind of a nostalgic kind of place in my closet just because it's my design for Oliver Cabell. And we spent almost a year back and forth just going through every detail, sampling and stuff like that. So yeah. So let's finish up with the white sneakers. These are a pair of footwear by Acne Studios. Uh, comfortable to wear a bit more bulky than the Common Project silhouette. Got this kind of nice green uh, detailing to it. Also pretty happy about these. I'm sure I'll get tired of these uh, quicker than the other white sneakers, but as of now, these are still in my rotation and I keep wearing them. So let's continue with uh, another pair of sneakers by Acne Studios. These are called the Marathon Runner, I think. This is actually my second pair. In general, what I really love about these is that they're so, so light and the colors on these makes them really versatile and easy to use. And I would say these are probably in my top five rotation right now. Then moving into the New Balance 991. And with New Balance, you don't have to explain. They're super comfortable on feet. So this is definitely a great pair as we move into fall season with the olive greens along with the grays. It's a colorway that goes with mostly everything I wear. Then we got the most dad looking shoe of them all. This is the New Balance 530. These are almost half the weight of the 991s. So also just a super comfortable pair to wear. And I just love the colors going on on these sneakers, just the silver tones along with the 
the navy blues and as a dad myself i can definitely approve of these and this is definitely the pair of sneakers i've been using the most lately these are the new balance 993 by teddy santis and the colors on this particular pair is just absolutely perfect in my opinion so comfortable they go so well with my style and these I'll cherish for a long time. Then we have the New Balance 992. These are also part of the Made in USA. So you can't go wrong with a black pair. And especially now with fall season again, uh, these will get so much wear. Then we have the Margiela replicas. They have definitely replaced my love for common projects as I tend to love the design of these even more than the maybe too clean aesthetic of the common projects. Definitely a pair of sneakers that I keep on wearing all the time and I would love to get a second pair, maybe in a different colorway or a different variation. So let me know if you have any uh, suggestion on which one I should get. The Replicas by Margiela, perfect. Then we have a pair of Dareskin sneakers by DM. These are online, so they're ever so comfortable. And for those of you who know Diamed, they use such high quality leathers for all their footwear. It's definitely a level up from, for instance, common projects and sneakers like that. It's just a black pair of suede sneakers that are super easy to wear and uh, maybe one of the most comfortable sneakers I own. Then we have a pair of sneakers by the Swedish brand Suede. Uh, this is a take on the silhouette you would typically see on a Vans uh, Authentic, but this is made in Italy from high quality leathers and it's just a super versatile and classic sneakers. Here we have a pair of DM slip-ons. It's got this really snuffed fluffy kind of suede the texture is just insane on these and if you love a good pair of slip-ons maybe switching out the vans for these premium ones by dme these are absolutely perfect the silhouette is just how they should be and you won't find a better looking pair of slip-on than these and especially with this leather quality all made in italy so I love the combination of how effortless the slip-on kind of style look is together with uh, maybe more dressed up kind of trousers and it's just the combination of the two that really works well together and I'll keep wearing these loads even now for fall just because they're so easy and comfortable to wear and the black colorway for this is just perfect. And as we're moving into fall, you need a good pair of boots. These are also by Dieme. And this is what Dieme is mostly known for, their hiking boots. Again, the leather quality on these are just insane. I love the color for this one. They're just as comfortable as their sneakers are. So if you're looking for a good pair of boots for the fall and winter season, definitely look up Dieme. And lastly, we got a pair of boots by the Swedish brand Suede once again. So it's got this rubberized kind of detail going around the toe area just for more protection. I got them in a black colorway just because these are ever so versatile. It's got the Vibram uh, outsole, again made in Italy, so comfortable to wear and can't wait to get into fall season and wear these once again. Okay guys, so that was my favorite shoes in my closet right now. Let me know which one was your favorite. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.